Well, it's been a few weeks since the FCA District 8 brought students from all over the region for the first annual Fields of Faith. But the impact from that event is still showing incredibly positive effects. Last week, we brought you the testimony of Alex Tuttle, and this week, Andy has more from those attending the event on how God is truly changing their lives. Every story of coming to Christ is great. An eternity of being with God where life is painless and wonderful. That is the ending to your story. Now the real problem is getting there. You know what they say, there's demons and cats and church speakers. There were moments of laughter that second Wednesday in October and also moments of transparency. One professor who decided to reach out to me was just so happened to be a Christian. And that man fed the gospel to me through an email. He shared his testimony, testimony with me. And when I read that email, I bawled. Because for the first time in my life, something was true. Something had meaning besides the drinking and the boyfriend and the bowling, everything that's fake that, that you get no fulfillment from. And when I decided, you know what? I need to test this whole Jesus man out. So I, I accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior, and it was like an instant. It was an instant. It was a process. But it was a change where I discovered I need to start making some changes in my life. University of Finley and Delphus Jefferson grad Tim Sanders won two GLIAC championships in track and field and was a four-time All-American. Those trophies and those medals and those ribbons and those participation awards that some of us get. Um, 50 years from now, wh where are they going to be? What, what's their worth going to be? I mean, even, even five years or three years from winning some things, like they're just, they're just on my desk. They're gathering dust. They're fading. So, so while these are a great and amazing blessings, and I'm so thankful for them, they, they are poor in comparison to what I've been offered and, and, and to what I've been given. And I want to share that with you guys. John 3, 16, the, the, probably the most famous verse in all the Bible. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. God offers us eternal life. He offers us an eternal treasure. And the moment you take that, the moment you take that is... I mean, it's, it's eternally changing. It, it, it's, it's a treasure that never fades. It's a treasure that starts today and becomes more glorious every single day. The, the, the more in love that you fall with Jesus, the, the more amazing that gift becomes. And, and him rising from, from the grave shows us that we no longer need to fear death. God will never abandon us. And it's just, if you think about it, it's someone who's always going to be there for you, almost like your best friend. It's like Jesus is your best friend. What a great way to put it, and what a great night that was in Wapakoneta. That's right. Well, a reminder that you can see Fields of Faith in its entirety this Saturday, November 1st, at 10.30 p.m., right here on TV44.